So welcome back guys. Uh, this is the truck. It's basically done. I just have a few things to wrap up on it. But before I show you the wheels, the powder and all that crazy stuff on the truck that's on it right now, let me show you how we got to that point. And if you guys haven't already, make sure that you like and subscribe and that you have those notifications turned on because in two days we're going to be posting the reveal here on YouTube. We're not going to post it on TikTok or Instagram till the day after. This is the main platform. We want you guys to see everything. Obviously, you guys are watching my long, boring videos, so I got to make it at least worth it for you guys. TikTok, it's going to take them 30 to 60 seconds to be like, oh, that's cool. Swipe. So I want to reward you guys with actually watching all my videos and everything was something extra so let's get to it this is kind of a long process and it took a long time to get here but i think you guys are gonna love the final product the finished product it looks so much better than what i could have ever imagined honestly and so let's hop right into it let me show you how we got this finished product here and make sure to let me know what you guys think down below in the comments after you're done watching this okay. so currently on our way to go get the new wheels and tires. Uh, they were supposed to be here tomorrow and they told me that I could come and actually pick them up a day early. Now, the only reason I'm actually gonna go get them is because I didn't wanna take time off work to go and get the setup. We had a rainy day, so I figured why not go on a rainy day when there's not much going on at work, take off a little early and go get the new setup. Now, I'm sorry if that is a very <laughs> loud, this is a Chevy and they got the window seals that are always super loud. But anyways, I'm super excited to go and get this set up. Uh, we got a lot of this stuff done. If you guys have seen the other video, we got a bunch of stuff done and we're basically just tying up loose ends with this truck. There isn't very much left to do. I think between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the next three days, we should be able to get the rest of the stuff done and I should be able to drive it. So that means that we're gonna be doing that reveal video very soon, or is, I don't know if that's gonna be a part of this video. Maybe it's a part of this video, I don't know, but. I haven't done the reveal video yet, but after I get this set up and all the other things figured out, I think one of the only things left missing on my truck, one of those little joints that go on my traction bars, uh, one of the bushings was just completely eaten out of that thing. So I need to go get a new one and both traction bars will be on after that. So let's see um, what the wheels look like and let's go pick them up. TSI. TIS. TIS, whatever the hell this is. Yeah, but looks good. They do look good. It doesn't look like a 26, <laughs> but whatever. They look good, though. Yeah, they look good, really good. The versatile looks good. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Still on my needle, so. Yeah. Yeah. What are you Dude, thinking? I am, I'm, my mind's blown by how good these look. I was so worried that it was going to look weird, but. Dude, I'm excited for you guys to see this on the freaking truck. This is this is real nice, real nice. <laughs> so yeah, let's get this all ratchet strapped because my luck, the freaking truck will break down the way home, or these tires will fly off. It'll look like that little Prius that freaking did a somersault or whatever. So yeah, let's get these bad boys ratchet strapped down. Then we'll give it the old that's not get, going anywhere tug, and we'll be good. Well, welcome back to the Six O Titan YouTube channel where we have rubber band tires, red trucks, single cabs, and most of all, somewhat interesting videos with edits in between. So uh, we have been at this since seven o'clock in the morning. It is now 11.30. Uh, we have, what is it, five days before the show? Yeah. Yeah, so we got about five days of the show, but we got the rest of the big stuff knocked out. The biggest thing was wire wheeling the entire axle in the rear end, we did the front, looked great, so we started on the rear end and we stripped all the paint off and wire wheeled it and got it all cleaned up and then we hit it with some flat black uh, paint. So the rear end's locked in, we got everything cleaned up, we got all the red off the calipers, so now they are now silver again. We're currently putting the wheels on this. We're just gonna grab the truck, pull it forward so we can get out of the shop after we put the traction bars on and tomorrow we're gonna finish up the rest of the stuff just a bunch of little tedious things okay. and we should technically be done after that so 
Worst case, I don't know, my trans, the motor blows up. I don't know. One of my differentials just decides to explode wheel bearing. I mean, I, there's just a, a bunch of numerous things that could go wrong. Uh, I have bad luck, so I guess we'll see. So, um, camera girl told me I should probably tell you guys. I, apparently, you guys want to know that stuff. That's why you're watching these videos. But uh, here's the rear end. And you see behind me, it's just a nice flat black. There's the calipers and everything. The wheel lights needed a good cleaning because I haven't cleaned those in quite a few months. And honestly, the rear end looks great. And so here are the brackets for the traction bars. And this is actually a vermilion red. Well, obviously <laughs> it doesn't look 100% accurate because my truck is super dirty. I haven't cleaned it in literal months, probably at least three to four months. I haven't actually cleaned this truck. Uh, but this is actual vermilion red. So that's a Closest we get to it, I mean, that's, I don't think there's anything closer. You're vermilion red, so it's the same color as a truck. You guys know what makes a really good neighbor? <laughs> Putting one of these bad boys on at 11.30, you know. That, that, I mean, it's like soothing to people's ears, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> it's, I'm just doing this just to kind of help out the neighborhood or whatever. Which, technically, I live right outside city limits, so it's okay. So, no one can do anything about it. But, yeah, this, this is what good neighbors do. A little loud, and for those of you asking, yes, this is the Cobalt Brushless Pneumatic Centrifugal Force Impact Accelerator 5000, 24 volt max. But yeah, it actually does a pretty good job. Right now I got the dinky little battery on there because it's so powerful, if I put the big battery on, it'll actually rip all the uh, studs out of the wheel. And for those of you guys wondering, no, I'm not gonna torque those down. You just go until this thing stops. So, I mean, that's what at least a smart person would do, especially with spacers. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to torque them down so nobody asks. No, that, that's just not going to happen. Another thing good neighbors do is roll their back fence up and down their concrete floor. Or just, you know, run it across the road at, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning. Do I put these on backwards? Are these directional? What? Um, I don't know. Well, see, like these. I, 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 I get know. what you're saying. But... I don't know. If they're directional or something, I guess let me know because if not, <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, whatever. They're, they're on there, so that's all that matters. So, it is the next day. Uh, we were up till like midnight messing with the truck. I was getting a little sleepy and cranky, so I called it a night. But we got the traction bars and everything put on this side, and it honestly fits the wheels perfect. I love how this completely turned out. The only thing I gotta adjust is I gotta angle this out a little more because it kind of looks like it's dipped in here. But these came out freaking sick. Holden from H and H Customs powder coating uh, did all the all of this on my truck, all the powder coat and everything. He was able to get all this done in a day. So make sure that you guys are following him on Instagram. And if you guys need any powder coating needs, that's a guy I definitely hit up. He'll get it done in a very timely manner. So here is the overlay I showed you guys in the previous video, kind of in depth. It's got some flake in it and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this bad boy. I am gonna feel bad because once you start rolling cold, this pretty little red's gonna turn a pretty little black. So honestly, after I have not had the hood sec on for the past two weeks and looking at how clean it looks right now, I almost wanted to get rid of the hood stack. And then I started thinking, I like to party, so I'm gonna leave my hood stack. So that's what we're gonna do. The hood stack's on. Little, little city, the old stuff that was left over from the other one. And we're gonna go ahead and take these off. It just blows my mind and I can't get over how huge those look compared to this. Because obviously I've been on 22s before that 20s. And whenever I even went to the 22s, that was the you know, a big wheel. I got the 22s and everyone is like, man, you gotta go 24s, 22s are the new 20s. You know, I'm like, damn, okay. So then I was gonna go a bigger set, but I didn't wanna spend the money. It was time to finally change it up. And I'm like, well, if I'm gonna get a different wheel, I'm not gonna get an orange wheel or a black wheel. I wanna change everything up completely. So that's what we did. And we just skipped 24, went straight to 26. But now that I'm caught up, 26 is a new 24. So next time I'll get 28s and they're like, oh, they just come out, came out with the 32s. 28s are new 24s, and it's, I'm never gonna catch up. But, 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 this looks very good, so I'm very satisfied. So let's get this jacked up so we can put this other side on so I can get a full look at it. <laughs> it's insane, it looks so good. It looks so good. Okay. So we got the wheels put on. Uh, the tires, obviously, some of you guys probably saw 
the rear ones were uh, put on backwards. Uh, so we ended up fixing those too. So all of them are on. Yes, they're torqued down for everybody wondering. And I wanted to show you guys this freaking sick emblem that we got from TSO. These are custom social media emblems. Whatever you guys want to write in it, you can put a custom text and put them wherever you want on your truck. These are actually going to go towards the rear wheel well. So let me show you what we did on this side. So we've seen a lot of people put their emblems in the inner fender well and honestly it's a pretty good idea because we don't really have a lot of stuff going on here. I mean you got the brush shock back there, pretty cool, but we wanted something that would add more of an accent and would be kind of more eye appealing. So we're hoping that with the placement of where we decided to put them, these rock lights and everything will kind of shine off them a lot better and it'll kind of add more to it so we don't really have any powder coating or anything else back there. But uh, to apply these it's super simple, all it is is a double sided tape, it's a 3M adhesive, stickiness, whatever it is air compressor and so you just rip that off make sure you clean the area before you put it on and it just sticks on there so i really like that these are simple i was not really wanting to deal with you know having to drill some holes through it and i really thought that they were going to have little studs in the back and you're going to have to put a little nut on it so i really like that went with this design and just made it super simple on top of all that these guys also will send you these powder coated so you don't have to worry about them getting powder coated afterwards or whatever but the only thing is they have kind of simple colors so unless you got something crazy custom you can still order them raw from them and do whatever kind of finish you want on that but i think these are a pretty good little accent but overall everything has turned out pretty well so far um the tires and everything rode pretty good honestly for rubber bands i thought that they were gonna ride a lot rougher so i was honestly surprised so you guys have now seen the a good sneak peek of the tires if you guys know anything about wheels you already know what kind of wheel this is and you already know the company name and you saw a pretty good chunk of it in those videos i tried to cut it out but whatever i had to kind of show you guys but i do not want to show you 110 percent until we do the full reveal because then it's just going to ruin it and you're not going to get the full effect of it but you have now seen the pattern coat you guys have seen the overlays and everything a majority of it put together in the background i'm sure a lot of you guys are taking a look and pausing it whatever trying to ruin the surprise but in two days we're going to do that reveal so make sure you guys are subscribed i hope this was enough of a sneak peek to keep you guys interested i promise you it is well worth the wait i i can still not get over this the truck's been done for two days well not done but it's been a majority of done and i still can't get over it you guys are gonna love it it really doesn't look like the same truck it's so much cleaner now but we just got to get these emblems. They're ordered. They'll be here to, in two days on Wednesday. I'll put those on. And I just got a few little things. But literally, there is nothing left but just a handful of stuff. So that'll get done. It'll be finished for Mother Road Mayhem. So we'll see you guys there at Mother Road. Make sure to drop a comment. Tell me what you guys think, what you want to hear. And thank you guys for watching.